did start with a win against the Slovenia, but it was very close, only two goals, and what a match! It was certainly a fantastic pulsating match, with Norway getting off to a flying start, scoring the first six goals. But the young Slovenian team refused to capitulate. Showing enormous spirit, they fought back, and by halftime they had equalized to 14-14. Are you pleased at halftime? Yes, we have. It's, it's good time here. It was a bad start, but uh, are you going to win the match? Of course. And happy end. And happy end. Are you happy at halftime? Fairly okay. Uh, should have been better the last 10 minutes, but uh, okay, uh, the first 20. Slovenia then scored the first four goals in the second half and led by five, 21-16 after 39 minutes. Then Norway, with goalkeeper Ole Erevik inspired, went on a five-goal run and equalised, and in the end it was probably the experience of the Norwegian team that secured a one-goal victory, 28-27. We started as we wanted, a uh, tough game, we, we uh, want to control the tempo in the game, uh, but then we let uh, Slovenia too easy in the game, and in the second half uh, the, the, the game changed uh, mentally from only want to win, we, we always uh, starting to get afraid to lose, and, uh, but at the end we, we, uh, we switched on again and, and uh, made it with one goal. These victories, aren't they a bit sweeter when you really have to fight for them? Of course they are, uh, but, and again I guess every victory is, 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 uh, is sweet, but uh, it was good for the team to, to show that uh, even though we, we uh, have everything to lose uh, at the end of the game, we still can then turn it around uh, to our, our advantage. What's it like to be the hero? Well, I don't think I'm the hero. Uh, we do a fantastic job, uh, the whole team. Um, it looks like uh, we're out of it after 10 minutes of the second half. And then we're somehow we're, we're getting back in the game and, and uh, at the end uh, it's uh, nice to know that uh, for once we're, we're the strongest uh, strongest team uh, mentally when it's uh, deciding. You showed some great goalkeeping in the second half. Uh, there was much talk about uh, Steinar Egen not being here, but you show that you still have good goalkeepers. Yeah, well, I, I know that I, I can play well when I'm, uh, when I'm in good shape and, and when, uh, when my defense also is working like they do today. And um, it's, of course, it's, it's nice to, to have some saves that also helping to, to decide the game, of course. <coughs> of course that we are disappointed because it was our first match, uh, it was very important for us. Uh, in the end we lost, uh, but I think that uh, we show a very uh, fight uh, match, very, uh, we fight uh, to the end. We have our opportunity when we have, uh, I think, five goals uh, in leading, but uh, we didn't do this the last, uh, how do you say, uh, the last uh, kill or something like that, how do you say this? And they came back in the game in the end, unlucky and uh, we lost the game. In the second half uh, the beginning was enormous really, we played really good but uh, I don't know what happened, uh, we missed too much uh, clean shots and uh, that's the difference uh, between two teams. We watched the games, we, uh, Slovenia played against uh, Denmark, Poland and we always knew this would be a tough game, so um, we was prepared for everything. Uh, were you nervous when you went four or five goals down in the second half? Both yes and no. We know that we have a good team, we just have to keep up the intensity and, uh, and we, uh, we fought good and uh, we won. Do the guys tease you about your name, Rambo? No, not anymore. It's too old. <laughs> they used to do it. Yeah, they used to. How do you say it in Norwegian? Rambo. That's not quite the same. No. <laughs> <laughs>